hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell on so that you're notified each time i post a new video and if you're returning you're welcome welcome back and if you're re if you're returning and you haven't hit the bell notification bell on <laughs> does that make sense <laughs> you guys should hit it so for today's video we are going to have a story a story time we're having a story time we're having a story time and today's story time is going to be about remember the time i said in my previous video if you guys wanted to hear why i have a phobia for buses i'm going to give you the video today because most of you asked you wanted to know why i don't like buses so let's get into the video <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so i was um i think um in grade two three i'm not so sure i've forgotten but somewhere two 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 three i used to go home with a bus i don't even know i used to go home with a bus at that age but uh, i used to go home with a bus so i was uh, there was a time uh this day i knocked off we used to knock off from school like around 15 30 to, to 16 i think somewhere 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 there then i went to the station to board buses and if you're from like zambia not even from Lusaka, if you're from zambia like when you want to board a bus like there are these people they call conductors if you are not from zambia and you're watching this conductor is one person that guides you to enter into the bus yes so this uh, i reached the station and then like there were so many buses this conductor would come no come board come board come board this bus come board this bus so me i entered the bus that was at least full full so i think can go home early ah me even asked the conductor i'm like where's this bus going the conductor told me no the bus is going to down and then i was like oh down because like my place like when you bought the bus is going to town like you drop off like eh before eh -eh. yes before you reach down so it was in there along the way <laughs> it was along the way so that's where the conductor was like oh yes it's going to town it's going to i mean that's why i even bought it at the bus ah the bus started off guys then after some time i noticed the bus was going the opposite direction so me me as a small child I was like eh what's cutting and then i asked the conductor i was like ah me i thought you said that the bus is going to town why is it going the opposite direction the conductor was like no we just have to go pick up some people this side but we're going to still go to town ah so me i even started minding my own business ah the conductor even started collecting the money i may even give him the money i was like ah we're obviously going to switch directions eventually so yeah eh. i noticed the bus was still going the opposite direction I asked the conductor again, I'm like, is this bus going to town? He kept on saying, yes, 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 yes. Ah! <laughs> so I even forgot about it. I was like, ah, obviously, maybe when we go this side, maybe they are going to drop people and then start coming back this side. Yeah, I even sat in the bus, you know. I was a child, so I was just uh, looking at the window and, you know, admiring. You know, when you're a kid, yeah. <laughs> so, ah! The bus stopped. I didn't know that place like i was lost i was completely lost and everyone in the bus got off guys everyone in the bus got off and then i asked the conductor i was like ah what's happening what's happening what's eh what's cutting i asked the conductor like ah, ah. but guy you said that this bus is going to town what's cutting then the conductor goes like oh moichi moichi kishule <laughs> lanta you are from you're from Zambia, you understand what I'm what language I'm using right now. I'm using Bemba. Moi che fish Then I was like, but you said that this bus is going to town. Yeah, moi che watch me not your bus you be. And then I was like, eh, what do you mean? I was so confused, like the, 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 the conductor, I was just like looking at him, I'm like, mm, the guy. Then he said that, oh moi che. And then I was like, and then he goes at my she what is she she does? <laughs> then I was like, huh? This conductor. Eh? Eh? And then I was so little, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything. So I just sat there by the station and I was like, depression. 
I was, I, I was lost. I didn't know where I was. So I started that station for approximately maybe even 30 minutes. Then I saw another bus coming inside. And the conductor was like, no, town, 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 town. So I saw people were entering, entering, and the bus got full. So that's why I went to the conductor. I was like, no, I really need to go home. I'm late. So can I sit by the bondix? Guys, the bondix, for you guys who don't know what bondix is, it's that like front part there in the bus that is hot. <laughs> it's hot. That's where I sat. I was like, ha. I was thinking in my head, I'm like, so what am I going to do? I'm like, what am I going to do, guys? Like when he says that now you can sit on the chair and I don't even have transport money. I paid in the other bus. That's why the bus started going. People started getting off. Then the conductor was like, now you can now sit on the chair. I was like, no, it's fine. I'm very comfortable here. Nish, it's hot, guys. It was hot. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll sit here. The conductor kept on insisting. No, 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 no. Just sit. Just sit. And then in the end, he kept on insisting. And then I was like, no, I don't have transport money. And then the conductor asked me, that means your parents don't give you transport money. And then I'm like... I just kept quiet. And then everyone in the bus started laughing at me, guys. Everyone started. And I was little, guys. The phobia. I was just like, why are they laughing at me? Why are buses like this? Why do they treat people like this? Everyone started laughing at me, guys. Everyone started. That's why a nice woman was like, no. Just sit, 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 sit on the chair. I'll pay for you. That's why I sat on the chair. And then when I reached, like, where I was supposed to stop, I was very happy. I was just like, huh. And then it started raining. It started raining guys and i was at the station and then there was a busy road in between that that i was supposed to cross to get home it started raining like heavy guys i don't even know i don't even know how i was stuck at the station each time i want to cross the road a car phew water oh. i was just like oh my goodness can this take it any worse i was like i'll sit at the same station till the rain stops the rain wasn't stopping guys i was dripping wet like i was wet like wet starting baggy books everything wet that's why i think this was an angel from god i don't know where this man came from he was like oh young lady you're having a hard time crossing the road i'm like yes that's where the man even lifted me like this and then made me cross the road that's the way guys i even went home i was so happy like seeing my mom and my dad i was just like oh my goodness guys i'm never boarding a bus again guys that was the worst day ever that was i just I just naturally have a phobia for buses then guys the, the next time i attempted to board a bus guys the driver was speeding i don't know if he was flying he wanted the bus to fly but guys the bus he was speeding guys the bus was literally involved in a car accident and then i was like okay it seems like buses are not for me so yeah that's my phobia for buses that's a story time i had for you guys but guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell on and leave your comments below because i like reading your comments <laughs> yeah and i'll be back with more videos <laughs>